reports in the last 24 hours have come out that Manchester United have decided not to pursue their interests in Nathaniel Klein from Southampton. Now, Manchester United have been heavily linked with him over the last three to four months after some decent performances uh, playing for Southampton. I mean, he's put in some real stellar performances and helped them play some decent football this season. Uh, they had a fantastic season and he was, was a major part of that uh, down the right side. Now, I'm a bit disappointed that we've ended our pursuit in, in Nathaniel Klein. And from the reports, Liverpool have put in a £10 million bid for the Southampton right back. Now, personally, I don't think they're getting for £10 million. I think they would have to up their offer because before the reports were that, that Manchester United were willing to pay around sort of £20 million mark for him. Now, he's still only, a, I think he's 23 or 24 years of age. So he's still got plenty of time to, to hit his prime. And I am a bit disappointed if we have ended our... our uh, pursuit of, of Nathaniel Klein because uh, he's certainly one for the future and could turn into a, a decent player uh, in the right back position. Now there isn't a great deal of options out there for Manchester United to sign especially British players uh, and players play already established in the Barclays Premier League. The other one is Coleman of Everton. Uh, Seamus Coleman is a decent player. He's played well over the last few seasons for Everton. Uh, but Everton did have a, a terrible season this year. I didn't didn't watch that much of him uh, this season, just gone. But he, I've seen him in the past and he looks a decent player and was one that I, that I did want to come to Manchester United at one point before Nathaniel Klein started improving. Now, there is obviously Danny Alves is out there that, that, that um, there is talk that he could still be coming into Manchester United. Uh, but I think with his age, I mean, he, he would be a very experienced player. He's played at the highest level for Barcelona for a, few, a good few seasons now. Uh, an international. Uh, but he's coming to the end of his time. And I don't think... I, th I mean, if we're going to sign a real stellar name as well, sort of like a, a, a Coleman or someone like that, I would I would also... I would, in, and we're going to bring in, in Alves. I would bring in, in the pair. I wouldn't just bring in Danny Alves on his own because I think... Uh, at his age, uh, uh, personally, I wouldn't wouldn't pursue him now at his age. I mean, if Barcelona obviously don't want to give him a new contract, it's obviously because they no longer feel he's he's going to take them forward uh, onto next season. And I I don't know, but I don't think we should should really be going after their castoffs. But if there's no one any better out there, I suppose we could pursue him because we we start with only Antonio Valencia at the right back at this present moment. I know Phil Jones and Chris Smalling have filled in there in the past, but with Chris Smalling's rise uh, in the centre-back positions lately, I'd like to see him given more of a chance in the centre-back position. Now, I think Phil Jones has always got a mistake in him, so I'm not too sure that he and he, I mean, he's not a right-back either. So I think we do need to get a stellar name. I mean, if anyone's got any, any um, options... Uh, for what, who we could actually sign this summer at the right back now that it looks like this Nathaniel Klein deal is off. For me, probably um, Coleman would be the next one. I mean, there, there is probably other, other players out there across Europe. I mean, I haven't looked into it a lot for the right back position, but it is disappointing that we've still not got a, a proper right back in there because we really do need some players in their right positions. I mean, Raphael will now be shipped off in the summer. I mean, Louis van Gaal really doesn't seem to, to rate him. I mean, he didn't play him at all towards the end of the season. I know he did have a lot of injury problems uh, throughout the whole season, but even when he was fit, he was on the bench all the time. He seemed to play Antonio Valencia, who is pri primarily a winger. And, I mean, he, he towards the end of the season, I, th I thought he did get a little bit better in that right-back position, but I still don't feel that he's... That he's, he's the the one that we that we need to, to take us forward. I mean, he, he could do a, a good job as a backup, but I think really realistically going forward, we do need to to get a a real um, um, player in there that is primarily a right back. So please let me know in the comment section box below who else you would go for now that Nathaniel Klein uh, doesn't look like he's coming to Manchester United. I mean, the reports could change in within 24 hours or 48 hours. And there could be news breaking. But I really did think this signing was going to come off. A few months ago it looked like it was was definitely going to happen. But 
doesn't look like it's to be. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Please do subscribe and please do like the video. It really does help us out. We really do appreciate it here. And uh, we'll be back again soon for any more transfer gossip and news uh, that's being reported. Until then, thanks and talk to you all again soon.